a mightier race shall inhabit the mortal's world. This is the boon, this is the assurance Savitri is getting from the Supreme Himself. Savitri has conquered death. Savitri has overcome the temptation have transformed death. Now the Supreme Himself in His absolute form who is granting the most beautiful boon to Savitri of a mightier race that shall come and live in this mortal world. Mightier race. Why mightier? Why not beautiful? Why not joyous? Why not full of knowledge? Full of perfection? The essential thrust is mightier race. Mightier of course means all those qualities. But mightier specifically means strong, full of strength. And it is that strong race which will inhabit the mortal world. Strong because you should be able to withstand the opposition of all the opposing forces from below, the neither forces, the forces of inconscience, that mighty race should be able to withstand the attacks of those adverse forces. And therefore the assurance is that, yes, mighty, a race will come, but that race will also be able to withstand against the attacks of the adverse forces. On earlier occasion, when Savitri is growing up, the poet tells us that Savitri, even as a young girl, is almost ready to found a mightier race. Even as a girl, she is ready to found a mightier race. At once, she seemed to found a mightier race. It is for that purpose Savitri had taken the human birth. This is the boon Savitri is therefore receiving directly now from the Supreme. The dual incarnate power, Satyavan and Savitri, shall open God's door so that God comes out from his realms and lives in the mortal creation. The incarnate dual power shall open God's door. Supermind shall touch earthly time. This is the assurance the Divine is giving to Savitri. Supermind shall touch earthly time. This is an assurance but it has also become a reality. The Supermind has touched the earthly time. This happened on 29th February 1956. The Supermind has touched the earthly time. His cosmic spirit, the Supreme's cosmic spirit shall ring everything. The Supermind shall be the nature's found, the source of energy of all nature's activities that will be the Supermind. So all the powers nature will derive will be directly from the Supermind himself. Eternal truth shall mold thoughts and acts. A mightier race shall inhabit the mortal world. Superman shall reign as king of life. 
he has to be in full command of all the eventualities in this existence. A superman shall reign as king of life, therefore a mightier race. He shall make earth almost a mate and peer of heaven. Earth shall be almost an equal of heaven. Of course, earth cannot be heaven in every respect. They had different roles to play, earth and heaven. But all those qualities which are necessary for earth, for earth's progress, for earth's evolutionary process, they will become part of earth. Make earth almost the mate and peer of heaven. The superman shall claim the world of light. It is that which will bring down here. There will be no shadow, there will be no darkness. Supermind is a light that does not cast shadows. And therefore, when it comes here, there cannot be any shadow at all in this creation. This earthly life shall become the life divine. That is the assurance Savitri is getting from the Supreme. This earthly life become the life divine. A mightier race shall inhabit the mortal's world.